Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name's Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. For those of you that have been here before and have been following my sourdough, I don't know what you'd call it, adventure, um, you would know that I have not been had a great deal of success with my sourdough bread, but I've got a loaf here. And this was today's loaf. Um, and I will just show you, and we've already had a slice. That's our loaf of bread. And that is it. And it is scrumptious. It's still a little bit doughy. It's not, you know, real open, you know, the crumbs still fairly dense. But I still am very much considering this one a big success. So, and because we've got that one, I've, I've decided that I've been talking about the chocolate chopped chip sourdough um, and I decided I was going to go for it. So, what I've got here is my chop, chop, my chop, chop chip sourdough. Now that there has had its um, second stretch and fold um, and I've used the same recipe I've, I've just used the same recipe as I used for the other loaf of bread all I did was I um, worked out how much the total weight was and replaced and worked out what 80% was with oh, 80%, 8% which I rounded down to 80 grams so I've replaced 80 grams of the flour with 80 grams of cacao powder. And then when I start to shape the loaf, I am going to um, roll in the chocolate chips, then I'm gonna fold them into the loaf. So, um, not really sure if that's the right amount of cacao powder to add but that seems to be the general rule of thumb for adding cocoa into baked goods. So we'll see if it tastes good or not. Rightio. So anyway, what we're doing today is I'm cooking tea for my family. Um, one of the recipes that's always in the, the most cooked on Cookie Do, on those lists that they release every week, is Lala's Chicken Lemon chicken butter, I don't know. Let, let's have a look. It is, I've got it saved it in my wheat for today. And it is Layla's creamy lemon butter chicken. So this one here, I've never made it, but it's always popping up in um, the most popular lists. And then I've had a few people that tell me that they cook it all the time and it's amazing. So that's what we're having for tea tonight. So we're gonna start cooking. We start off with 30 grams of Parmesan cheese, cut into pieces. Shall we look? There's nothing in there. Excellent. I just put the bowl back together too, so I actually did know that. Um, because I washed it up after I made the um, chocolate sourdough dough. Um, 10 seconds on speed seven. Parmesan. I never get tired of pulling the lid off when I'm grating Parmesan and seeing it like that. Um, transfer into a bowl and set aside. So let's pop it over there. Okay, now we've got um, six to eight chicken thigh, um, just chicken thighs, hang on. I just 
want some gloves because I'm about to handle the chicken. Um, they're six to eight chicken thighs. So I went to the butcher yesterday and got these. I just want to pull that feather out. We'll leave it there. But there is eight in here. And then we're going to seize it with one to two tablespoons of paprika. Now, I'm not going to get that excited. Um, I sometimes feel that, we put, that there's too much paprika in all the recipes. Um, I really like the flavour of paprika. So it says one to two tablespoons. So I'm going to do two teaspoons, which is like half a tablespoon. Um, and we've got um, salt and pepper. refill my pepper um, side on that so with the with the pepper I use whole black peppercorns and I mill them up in um, in the thermomix uh, there is in the I think in your basic cookbook it'll tell you um, how long to mill them for and what speed but what you've got to do is work out for yourself how fine a grind you want um, because you know some people like it a bit coarser and some people like it a bit finer okay. so we're going to now rub that all over our chicken So I'm going to put this aside to um, just to soak in a bit um, and then the later stage we're going to um, we're going to cook these finish this in the oven we're going to brown that in our casserole dish before um, we pour the sauce over Righty out. So I'll just put that aside there. And now we want um, three garlic cloves. And we're going to chop that. Scrape down the side. three seconds. That was three big cloves of garlic. We want 20 grams of unsalted butter. seconds um, speed four and it's going to um, 50 degrees
So now we're going to scrape down the sides again. It didn't even really get hot enough to melt the butter, but anyway. mils of double cream so this is just um, thickened cream from the supermarket just generic so. I don't really know what double cream is and one lemon freshly squeezed um, approximately 40 grams assuming they only want the juice of one lemon. Okay, let's see what that weighs. Forty, 40 grams exactly, or 41 now. Excellent. Um, a teaspoon of dried thyme. Two teaspoons of chicken stock paste. So this is the chicken stock paste out of the, um, the basic cookbook. grams of water the grated parmesan cheese Out the measuring cup. Um, 18 minutes, 80 degrees, speed two. And now we'll read on ahead. So if we go to, see, let's just go preview and we'll show you the next step. Next step is to add 60 grams of baby spinach leaves. Stir with the spatula, preheat oven. Okay. So while we're doing this, we're going to place an iron, a cast iron dish with two tablespoons of butter over a medium to high heat. Add chicken to the pan and seat on both sides until brown. Pour over cream and spinach sauce and bake for 35 minutes or until chicken is cooked through. Um, and so we're gonna go back to here. Um, so that's what I'm going to do is while this is cooking for that 18 minutes, I'm gonna clear up my mess and I'm going to brown the chicken. So righty out, I will be back when we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay. Now it says to add 60 grams of this baby spinach. That's super hot, that is. is 120 grams, so about half. Okay. And 
stir it with a spatula. down a little bit. I've got the oven preheating. Okay, so it said to put a cast iron dish. Now this is one of the, this is the round, shallow, fear of fire, cast iron cookware that I got from the Met shop. I've got a trivet, a round trivet too, but I can't find where I've put it. So I'm gonna have, I've lost, I can't find two of them. So I'll have to uh, have a bit of a look. So I can't show you this, this is hot. I've um, browned that on both sides. So I put the skin side down, I've browned it, turned it over, browned the other side, turn it back over, and then I've come back. So just quickly to give a nice crispy outside. So we're gonna pour this over the top. Right, so it says just pour the spinach and cream sauce over the top. So now we, we haven't, um, we didn't sear that, we seared them in butter, not oil. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna bake that for 35 minutes. Um, 200 degrees or until chicken is cooked through. Um, and at the end, if you decide, you can skin off, skim off any of this fat. Right, yeah? Serve immediately with your choice of sides. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to, um, we're gonna have this with a pumpkin risotto. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this in the oven. Um, and while that's baking, I'm gonna, um, wash out my dish and then make the risotto. And then we'll come back at the end and we'll taste them together. So rightio, I'll be back when we're ready to taste. Righto. So we've got the um, Thermomix doing a pre-wash cycle, it's in your modes. Um, so you've got, when you do a pre-wash cycle, you can choose between a short one, so it's only a few minutes, dough, um, universal, fat or caramel, and browning. I mainly use the universal one, but it just depends on what I'm doing. This is our chicken out of the oven. I'm just gonna grab a little bit. Um, just gonna get a little bit of sauce and spinach. channel and subscribe and I really hope I'll see you next time.